packet pushers went to AutoCon Zero in November 2023 and asked 10 IT professionals, what do engineers get wrong on their first automation attempt? Oh, man. I think um, using Ansible uh, is my hot take, <laughs> starting off there. Uh, but I think more realistically, I think underestimating the service lifecycle of what they're trying to do. And I think it's very easy uh, and rewarding to write a script, perhaps, that will accomplish something that is useful. But then perhaps uh, when it comes to you know deleting that later, uh, that's not taken into mind or how that service mutates over time. Uh, things like that are, I think, kind of the stickier parts that really differentiate uh, kind of going from scripting to software engineering that gets missed on the early strikes. Trying to boil the ocean. Um, trying to do too much at once and thinking of automating all of the things. Um, I think one thing that you can gain a lot out of, uh, and I've heard it mentioned before previously, is uh, finding a couple of small little things, uh, repetitive tasks that you do day in and day out. Um, start automating those, start small and iterate on that. I would say don't wait on consensus, just get started, get moving, uh, you know, start the train and people will hop on board as you go. But I'm here to represent myself. So these answers are from me. I would say probably chasing the most complex problem. Uh, first automation I did was changing interface description, something harmless, something safe. And that was just to get the feet wet on the process. So I think they just shoot for the moon, boil the ocean type thing. They try to boil the ocean. And it's much more important to get something working, regardless of how big or small it is. And you can build from there. One of the things that they get wrong right out of the gate is, is they have that fear factor. And so it drives them to perform in ways that are unnatural um, around network automation. In, in saying another way, you know, just start automating. And don't get so concerned about doing it right the first time. Because you're not going to do it right the first time. I think what engineers try to do is they try to boil the ocean. They try to do too much and they want to have like a, a, a perfect system in place from day one rather than pick up something really easy to do, work on the technology, understand some of the technology, some of the players out there, what your tools uh, underneath the umbrella of automation are going to be, and then you can start gradually incrementing on that. I think what they get wrong is understanding where it's going to lead ultimately. There's always going to be a need for network engineers how you express your engineering knowledge is going to change, though. You're starting down a journey that's going to change what you do and how you do it. They try to take it 100%. They try to take their problem and solve it completely in code, not having the maturity of writing code and understanding that getting 80% very quickly and repeatably is worth its weight in gold. So personally, I believe you cannot do anything wrong. <laughs> Because I, for me, automation is a journey. I've been uh, going through it myself. Right? It's always useful to have to, to consult people and basically share ideas or share some thoughts and get some feedback. But at the end of the day, I think the person itself needs to determine how he goes about the journey and what it means or what is important for him or the company. But you have to use information that you find in podcasts or in in YouTube videos you get from vendors, you get from people who have been using it. And I think then you have to assemble for yourself, okay, this is the journey or the path I'm going to follow uh, to yeah, get more knowledge in that domain.